we have this beautiful circle question and nothing was said about the question. The only thing we are asked to do is to calculate the size of these angles X and Y. Is this something you can do? A quick one. For you to answer this question, your ability to identify some circle properties and theorem is what to help you to do it well. Let me take you through it step by step. Now, to answer this, remember that this is your circle and we know that the outer part of a circle is what we call the circumference. And you also notice this, this is your center. Whenever you have a circle geometry, this O is mostly used to show the center of the circle. And if this is the center, what does it mean? It means that this line from this center touching this particular part of the circumference is what we call the radius. Another thing to note is that you observe this, this line. Can you see this line? You see that this is a straight line touching the circumference at a point. And this straight line is what we call the tangent. Now, if this is a tangent, does it help us in answering this? Yes. It just reminds you of a theorem. It reminds you that for each time you have a circle drawn and there is a line touching the circumference at a point which we have called the tangent. And there is a, a line from the center touching the tangent at a point. We say that this line, which is the radius, makes angle 90 with the tangent at the point of contact. So angle 90 is met here. What is your reason? The reason is your tangent and the radius theorem. So this is the reason for this. Now, if this is true, of what use with this Pythagoras? If you go back to the diagram, you see that this is your radius, as we have said, and this is our tangent. You notice that the angle from the radius, this there is an angle met from this radius down to the tangent. And this angle is angle 90. This is your reason. Now, if this is met angle 90 here, can it help us to find this? Because if you can find this tiny angle here, it's going to help us to get the value of X. Now, what do you do? Let's get this tiny angle. To do that, we are going to have this angle here. We can label it angle O, A, B, this tiny angle. So we have it that we want to find X. So we have to find X. What do we do? Angle O, A, B. Remember, when you have this, the angle is at the center later. So O, A, B, this angle here is going to be, so we're going to have, this angle will be equal to, we have angle O, A, B plus this particular angle, which is 76, should be equal to 90 degrees. Why is it 90? Our reason is the tangent and the radius theorem. So if this is true, what do we do? Let's solve this. So from here, we are going to now have, to find this, we have angle O, A, B should be equal to, to remove this, you know, you subtract. So it's going to be 90 take away 76. And when you do that, angle O, A, B, if you subtract this, it gives you 14 degrees. So this angle is 14 degrees. It means that the tiny angle here has given us 14 degrees. Now that we have found that, Will it help us to find the value of X? Now, if you go back to this diagram, you observe that from here to here, we have said is the radius. And also like from here to this place is the radius. And one thing about radius is that radii are always equal. So in that case, this line and this line are equal. And if this is true, it means that this reminds, remember when you have a, a triangle drawn this way, such that these two lines are equal, we call this kind of triangle isosceles. And for every isosceles triangle, the base angle of the equal lines, this angle formed here, are also equal. Now, if you go to this diagram, this angle, this has given us a triangle, and this triangle is isosceles because these two sides are equal. And if this base is 14, automatically this place should also be 14 degrees. And if here is 14 and here is 14, can't we find the value of X? We can. And let's do that together to have. So to find the value of X, we have it that X plus 14 plus this 14 here 
should be equal to the total angles of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So what do you do? We solve x, add this, it gives you 28 is 180 degrees. And what do you do next? To remove this, you need to subtract. So you subtract 128 from both sides. So this takes off. So if you subtract this, it gives you 152 degrees. So the value of x in this question is 152. Now that we have found this x value as 152 degrees, what do you do to get the value of y? Now, a quick one. Just go back to the diagram. You see that this diagram, watch from here, watch, this is your, just watch. Did you see? And what shape are you looking at? You see, we have formed a quadrilateral. And if we bring that shape out, remember, the quadrilateral, the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees. And you know that we said from the radius down to the tangent makes angle 90. It also means this is your radius and the radius down to your tangent should also give you 90 degrees. So it means here is 90. This angle here is 90 and this one is 90. And this one at X is 152. Let's bring that shape out to get the value of Y. So bringing out the shape out, this is what we have. Just watch. This is what we have. We have, this place is our Y. And we said from here to here is our 90 degrees. From here to here is also 90 degrees. And this angle X here, you see, is 152 degrees. So when you have this, can't you get the value of y? So what you just need to do is just to add everything and you know that the sum of angles of the, for the lateral is 360. So we have 152, add 90, add 90, then plus y should give us 360 degrees. Now what do you do? Let's add this together. This is 180, add it to this, it gives you 332 plus y is 360 degrees. So to get y, remove this, remember it's positive. So we're going to subtract from both sides. So we subtract this from both sides. And when you do that, this goes off. So we are going to have y is, when you subtract this, it gives us 28 degrees. So this gives us the value of y. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. Give this a thumbs up. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Share this so that the algorithm send it to more people that need this skill. Thank you. And I hope to see you in my next class. Till then. Bye.